chapter 4, V-pleats. Here in chapter 4 we look at how V-pleats are made. So V-pleats are two lines of pleats which meet along a common axis. Uh, so here I'm going to show you how to make the basic formation by hand with a square of paper folded first on a diagonal and then to open it. And now the valley fold that you have to turn it backwards to make a mountain fold out of it, to make what's called a universal fold, so it can now fold as a mountain or a valley, there's no preference, to fold the paper here. And now to take one of the corners up to the 90 degree corner and fold, and then again to fold in half, you can leave this, fold in half up to the top again. Now if I'm working too fast, just use your pause button to catch up. And one more time. So three times we fold up to the top edge quite firmly. So what this does by folding three times is to divide the paper into eight. So now with eight folds that are a random collection of mountains and valleys, we're going to form seven separate universal folds. So every valley fold turn backwards to make it a mountain, like the first one, the longest one. The second is a valley, so also make it a mountain. Here the third fold is a mountain, so make it a valley. The next is a valley, so also make it a mountain. Valley, also make it a mountain. And then two more mountains at the end, so they become valleys, both of them like that. So each of the seven folds can now flex forwards or backwards with no preference. Okay, so now open the paper. So when you look you see that you have these V forms from a very long one down the paper to the bottom where you have a short one. So now to pick the paper up and hold it with your thumbs on the front and fingers on the back what we're going to do is to make the longest fold on the right into a mountain is it also the same on the left to make the longest fold into a mountain so here at the top corner just makes a little ear that doesn't quite know what to do with itself so we're starting off fingers on the back thumbs on the front the next V is a valley so you can just begin to fold it here in your hands so valley on the right valley on the left and then a mountain V Here, so I'm working symmetrically in two hands, then collapsing the paper as I work. And then a valley after that, and slowly going down the sheet from top to bottom, just collapsing all of the Vs. The last one or two need to be made perhaps separately. So in the end, there you can put it down and just press it flat so that the paper is a stick. All the paper is inside with different layers. So when you open it out, then you see everything inside. So with one movement, this can open and close. So V-pleats have this property that they can flex from open to close. So later in the chapter and also later in the book, this idea is developed into quite complex forms.